like to be a perfect little devil with a dart, gather round. Based on the old English word dart, meaning, uh, well, dart, the game is now the industry of Islington and the craze of Kensington. The board with the double and the treble has even invaded the shingle. So far, there's no special costume for darts, but those will do quite nicely, thank you. As a rule, the beginner plays with an able-bodied friend and a wooden-bodied dart, tipped with feathered flights. When he becomes a virtuoso, he uses a metal-bodied shaft with a folded paper flight at the end. The board is usually of elm, its face 18 inches across and divided into 20 equal segments and number, but not consecutively. It's hung on a wall with a centre 5 feet 8 from the floor and the player stands 9 feet away. That's the bull or dosser and it scores 50 points. The treble ring scoring three times the number of points and the double ring counting twice the number of points. The game is controlled by the National Darts Association and there are handsome prizes and professors. This is Mr. Charles Garner, Honorary Secretary of the Association and Mr. Stan Oakton, London and Home Counties Champion. Taking up an easy stance at the toe line or hockey, the player must throw a dart into the double ring before he starts to score. No other shot counts. That was hard luck, but even champions can't be sure of throwing a double first time. He's done it. And every game must finish on a double. As the scoreboard shows, he wants 32 to win. A double 16. And by Jove, he's got it. Some players have a remarkably good aim. And with the help of the remarkably good nerve of a remarkably charming assistant, Mr. Ronald Garner throws a very pretty dart in slow motion. Now what about trying that with your mother-in-law? 